Okay, Ed, it's all up to you, Ed. Mitch, I wrote mine down. Can I read mine? I actually wrote it down. Okay. Is that cool? Is that all right with you guys? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very motivated. I owe my older sister a whole bunch of money. And so I want this trip back. All right? So this is a true story. This happened to me when I just first, first moved the coots. And, uh, and here we go. This is the iPad. Believe the hype. These things rock. <laughs> All right, I won't be looking up at you, audience, but I can feel you there. <laughs> so I'm sucking shit at this Morning Mountain Music Festival thing. Yeah! Yeah! That's not what I thought I'd be doing that Bluebird Sunday Cooney morning. My plans have been to hook up with some Nelson Slocan Valley paddling legends and run the Fashita Rapids on the Slocan River that morning and then hit the Brilliant Dam wave in the afternoon. Both runs are epic West Kootenai whitewater features. Earlier that morning, my plans got sidelined by a phone call from work. My boss informs me that the Porta Johns at this Under the Volcano weekend outdoor music thingy are erupting and it was my job to clean them up. <laughs> I had moved to Nelson that winter and got a job at Whitewater Ski Hill and the boiler room uh, bar as a doorman that season. The following summer, instead of going back to River Guide on the Ottawa, I took a summer job as a construction, at a construction supply rental store in Castlegar. This summer, the plan was to sink my teeth into the new landscape I had found myself. So on that one day off, <laughs> sucking raver shit was not my first choice of activities by a long shot. <laughs> The Slocan River is in BC's beautiful Slocan Valley. It's one of the most precious and beautiful flowing stretches of water in Canada. It runs undammed and free. A true treasure for all those lucky enough to paddle it. Always beautiful and always serious. You gotta love running the Slocan, baby. Yeah. yeah. The brilliant damn wave is so good it's almost fake. Situated just below, just below a behemoth megawatt hydro project, it's a dam release hydraulic that brings the essence of surfing to the surfer's balls. It's located right at the mouth of the Kootenai River where it pours into the mighty Columbia. When that wave is going off, well, it's just brilliant, really. <laughs> nope, this Sunday. Oh, the iPad is such a great tool for sure. It's unbelievable. Ah, uh, nope, this Sunday I'm cleaning Porta John's at a music fest on the side of a freaking mountain. I got there about 11 a.m. paddling on my mind, full of shit Porta John's in my immediate future. <laughs> I'm not going to make a run on the slow can, but I figure logistics make the brilliant possible. If I hammer out these shitters, drop the vacuum tree, truck off at Trail X, and haul ass with my boat back to the wave, I can make it happen. If you're on it, your average Porta John can be refreshed in about 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> Kicking ass, 8 to 10 minutes. First John I open, the catch is enormous. <laughs> if this is typical for each shitter, I have a thousand pounds of shit to suck. Or liters, depending on how you're looking at it. Thank oh my. <laughs> All right, whatever, shut up, get her done, Shaq, I think to myself. First one goes well. Second one, not so good. Two minutes in, my vacuum sucks up a chunk of broken bottle. Hose is plugged. Expletive. This means I'm cleaning out a trap full of shit, glass, and shit. Not a great thing. I must have. I must have cussed pretty loud because this little dude with a safety vest radio and the messiest hair I'd ever seen in my life came right over and said, what's up, man? What do you need? To that I answer, what I need is people to just shit in these things. No cops, no bottles, just shit. He looks me right in the eye and he says, Dude, you should tell them. We'll get you on stage after the next act. 
tell him, dude. I kind of agree with him. Where am I at? All right, I kind of agree with him uh, that I should too. Not really taking this cat seriously. We both get back to work. My mind goes right back to getting the job done and getting on the river. I'm chasing the sun now. Today I'm paddling. I start to make good time. No more hose plugs. About an hour passes. But I've gotten further into the job than I've expected. Surfing the brilliant wave today is becoming a reality. Then out of nowhere, the furry dude is back. He's pointing his radio at me again, and he's yelling something to me. I pull off my haz mask, safety goggles, and ear protection so I can hear over the noise of my giant slurpy shit truck. You're on, dude! You're on! I pause for a second, I think. Well, all right then, give me the mic. Follow him around back up on stage and right to the lead microphone. Sounds good. Sound guy gives me the thumbs up. The mic is hot. So here I am, standing in front of a crowd of maybe 300 cutie party folks, and speaking to the mic. Hello, people. I'm the guy who sucks your shit. Crowd instantly roars back. Yeah, it's the shit guy. Shit guy's here. My plea. Just want to ask you folks, please, just your shit. No diapers or bottles or cups. Just the shit, please. The crowd cheers back. Yeah, shit guy. Just our shit. Just our shit for the shit guy. We love you, shit guy. I thank them. <laughs> ah, I thank them for the wave. Thanks, guys. I thank them. I thank them for their time. Wave a big yellow rubber glove and exit stage right. <laughs> Finish cleaning the porta john. Say farewell to my messy hair radio buddy. I later, I later learned that hairstyle was a thing called dreadlocks. <laughs> Uh, head out to my and head out to my paddling buddies on the Kootenai River. <laughs> that Sunday, I made it to the Brilliant Wave, and I spent what was to be one of many magical and epic kiss, kick-ass days with my Kootenai brothers and sisters, experiencing the majesty and the fury of Mother Nature the way our tribe seems to like it best, right in her belly. I'm not sure if I said it out loud to myself or, or if I just said it to myself, but it was clear to me on that sunset. But it was clear to me as the sun set on that afternoon as we floated downriver to the takeout. If I was going to suck shit every day for the rest of the time I live in this place, well, that was fine with me. That's the end.